What's going on, Expected Fitness team? I hope week three is going good. For this workout right here, I wanted to jump in here and talk you guys through it. There's a lot of you who may or may not like the timed workouts where we go a certain amount of seconds on and a certain amount of seconds off. So for all of you out there who like a more structured routine to where we're doing reps and sets, this one right here is for you. We gotta make everybody happy, all right? So we got our time workouts out of the way. Now let's jump into some reps and sets just like if we were in the gym. Bringing the gym into the home. So for this workout right here, we're touching chest, back, shoulders, biceps, and triceps, all upper body. We're gonna do three exercises for each muscle group. 10 reps on each exercise, three sets on each exercise. And we're gonna do it in the tricep circuit style. So we'll do exercise A, B, and C, all back to back. And then we'll go back up to A, A, B, and C, just like that. So that's enough talking. I want you guys to follow through with this workout with me. So if you guys are ready, let's get to work. All right, grab your dumbbell. So for the first exercise, we're gonna do some cross body flies. So with that, we're gonna just hold the dumbbell right here and our palms facing outward. We're gonna cross body. We're gonna bring the dumbbell up, cross it over. That's one. Really squeeze that chest. Three. Four. Five. Make sure you're getting that squeeze. Ten. Hold it for a little bit. We want to be slow and controlled in everything we do. All right, let's switch arms. There should be no tension in the chest right here at the bottom. You slowly start feeling it right here once you bring it up. Squeeze. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Remember, right, pause at the top. That's all upper, upper chest work. All right, now we're gonna move into the Savin press. So right here, I'm not gonna put the dumbbells down. We're gonna put the dumbbells down as least as we can. So I'm gonna hold the dumbbell like this, like a sandwich, sandwich it in. I want my palms touching each other. I want my thumbs right here touching and my fingertips, all fingers touching. And we're gonna press up. At a nice incline angle. Squeeze in the chest. Nice and slow. Four, five, eight, hold it. That last rep you always wanna hold. Get that, get that nice tension. What these workouts are for is all about that blood flow, really putting a, forcing a lot of blood into the muscles. All right, we're gonna be pumped after this. All right, now we're gonna move to some push-ups. So for these push-ups right here, we're gonna do 10 push-ups with the dumbbell in our left, and then we're gonna do another 10 with a dumbbell on our right. So dumbbell just on the ground like you see. So it's like an uneven push-up right here. 10 reps. Six. Ten. Now we're gonna move it over. Dumbbell will be in our right. Notice that that nice flex I get at the top. Stretch the chest. Flex up. Eight, nine, ten. All right, that's the first circuit. That's the first set. We're doing three of them, so we got two more. Right now, we're gonna get a nice little water break. Mixed in my waters, I have some BCAAs right here. The alpha aminos. 
sell your core, you guys know where you can get the products down below in the description box. I also got a nice pre-workout energy drink right here. Also super good. So these supplements right here, helping me push through this workout. All right, so we don't wanna rest too long. We wanna keep that blood flowing. So after you get your water, let's get right back into it. <coughs> All right, cross body, palms out. Five, six, make sure you squeeze. Hold, make sure you hold at the top. All right, switch. you control your breathing that's gonna play a lot in these workouts you got to control your breathing all right so then press let's get it let me get it show you guys from the side three five six eight Nine, 10. All right, down for push-ups. Move as slow as you need to, guys. You don't have to go my pace. 10. Switch. Gotta pump through those push-ups. Love push-ups. Like to get that nice pump, that nice flow. All right, water break. Real quick one. We got our heart rate up. We're getting our heart rate up. We got one more, one more round for the chest. I don't know about you guys, but getting pumped already. All right. I hope you guys did your warm up before this. There's a warm up every single week before every single workout. I hope you guys are staying locked in with that. Let me make sure my camera's on. We don't want to be doing this for nothing, right guys? <laughs> All right, last round for the chest. Let's get it. Cross body. Seven, eight, nine, come on, 10, get that squeeze. Yes, sir, all right there. All in that upper chest right there, guys. Want that chest to be sitting up. All right, let's go.
All right, push-ups. Let's crank through it. We're almost at about 10 minutes. 10 minutes of a workout, so not bad on time. Not really rushing it, but don't want to be out here too long. 10. Now push-ups aren't as easy for everybody as they may look for me. I understand, I understand that completely, all right? So do what you can. If you need to be on your knees like this, go right ahead. Go right ahead, guys. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong at all. 10. All right, done with chest. 10 minutes, done with chest. Get some of energy. Again, these supplements that I'm consuming right here, super good when we're talking about avoiding that fatigue, all right? We don't want to burn out. I mean, we ran through chest, three sets to 10, three circuits, three rounds, and we're still moving, all right? So this is just the beginning. We got a lot to cover, all right? So make sure you're staying loose. Now we're gonna jump into back, all right? So first up for back, let's go ahead and grab our dumbbell. You know we gotta hit those back rows, so let's just go ahead and get right to it. 10, really squeezing. Squeeze, that squeeze at the back. That squeeze for the last, the last one. Always make sure you squeeze for at least one or two seconds. <sighs> Try to squeeze and slow on all of them. Three. <sighs> you can be at a slight angle like this. Last one, 10. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and drop down. We're gonna do some pullovers. Decline pullovers, all right? So we're gonna raise our butts off the ground, right here, get a little more core engagement. Glute squeezed, drop down. You can hold your dumbbell like this, or you can hold it like this. some renegade rows. So for our renegade rows, make sure I'm in, connected. For our renegade rows, we're gonna roll with the left, we're gonna move the dumbbell over. Pick it up with the right, and we're gonna move the dumbbell over so we can keep passing it through. All right, let's go ahead and do it this way. All right, and we're still gonna knock out, let's go ahead and knock out, uh, Five on each arm. So, renegade, pass over, that's one. Renegade, pass over, that's two. I mean, that's still one on both hands. You'll see what I mean. All right, let's get to it. One, pass it over. Pass it over. Two on each. Control your breathing. Squeeze your back. Oops, pull it over. I like to do it in two motions, so pull, squeeze, drop, pull over. But you can very well pull, go right over. 
No correct way. I think that was four, so one more. All right. First set, first round, complete. Took us a little while. A little more talking, but. We said we wanted 25 minutes. This workout's not gonna take us 25 minutes if we're moving through it, relaxing, catching our breath, and trying to stay controlled. So it will take you about 30, maybe even 40 minutes. <laughs> the more work, the better, all right? This full upper body. So after you catch your breath, get your water, your supplements, whatever you got, and let's get right back to the rolls. Renegade, let's get to it. Yes, sir. All right. One more. Make sure that camera's on. I want to make sure you guys are getting all of this. Y'all need this workout right here, all right? We need this. We're almost at the end of the four week challenge. This workout right here is going to take us to the next level. Let's keep pushing. Let's jump right back to the top. Let's get some rows. Really squeeze, deep squeeze. We'll make that back work, guys. Make that back work. You can rest your elbows and forearms on your thighs if you need to, like this, or not. Either way works. I noticed that when you get a little tired, a little winded, you like to rest a little bit. Squeeze. Right, pull overs. Are we moving now? <laughs> we moving now. Y'all move with me. Let's go. Y'all move with me. Squeeze the glutes. It's for them lats right here, guys. Lost count. I'm gonna go with six. 
So, eight, nine, ten. All right, Renegade. Let's get to it. Four. Control your breathing. <clears throat> All right, back, complete. All right, about 20 minutes in, not bad. Let's rip through it, all right? Get your breath. Let's get right to them shoulders. Gotta work on them shoulders. Some shoulders right here. When you put that shirt on, fellas, you put that shirt on. Get that broad look and bolder shoulders. That's what they that's what they love to see. That's what they love to see. All right. Let them do some lateral raises, some arm up press, and then we're gonna switch it up, hit the back, the rear delts, get some flies. You know how we do. So let's go ahead and do some lateral raises. Now I'm gonna talk you guys through this one right here. Lateral raises, I like for I like to hold my thumb on the same side as all my fingers, just like that. I feel like I'm raising a lot with just my arm, not really gripping that dumbbell. All right. And I'm raising my pinky to the air. Pinky to the ceiling. See that? Like I'm, like I'm drinking a, a wine glass, champagne glass, or a cocktail or something with my pinky out. <sighs> pinky to the sky. Really target that medial head of the deltoid. Trying to focus on making sure I'm driving nothing but my elbows. That's why my pinkies are up. I want that elbow to be up, all right? I don't do my flat, my lateral raises like this or like that, none of that crazy stuff. I like to target nothing but that medial head. That's what they're for, all right? Let me try to show you on the side like this. <sighs> up, pinky. Oh, all right. Hold on to some Arnold press. If you have never, never seen an Arnold press, you should by now. This is week three, guys. Come on, week three. All right, so I like to start like this with my palms facing me. All right, then on the way up, I'm turning and pressing up like a normal shoulder press. All right, bringing it back down that same rotation. I don't do two movements like that. All right, it's all one motion. Turn of the wrist. Five. Nine. Ten. What that turn does, it helps you target the front deltoid right here and also your medial, the middle deltoid right there. So you target all that in that one little movement or one big movement if you want to see, what you want to call it. But uh, yeah, from the side, that's how it looks. Try to be smooth in one motion. Nine, one more, come on. We're gonna do some rear delts, rear delt flies right here, all right? For that rear deltoid. So you got your anterior head, your medial head, your posterior head, all right? Front, middle, back, all right? Now, I like to do two ways on my rear delts. I like to hold it like a hammer grip, hammer strength, hammer grip, whatever you wanna call it, neutral grip, but you can just bring it up. Still trying to flex nothing but your elbow, uh, bringing your elbows up and really hitting that back, right? So not gripping too hard on 
the dumbbell. I'm barely holding the dumbbell. I'm holding the dumbbell with my fingertips. Seven. If you're doing these correctly, you should feel them after the first like three reps. Five. Keep checking the camera just in case it cuts off. And if it does cut off, I can kind of redo what I was doing just to make sure you guys get it all, all right? I don't care if I have to do more work. I'm doing this for you guys, all right? We're about 25 minutes in. We got two more rounds on our shoulders. Then we gotta hit our biceps, of course. Gotta hit those triceps and we are finished, all right? So get you guys some water. <clears throat> don't overdo it on the water too. As you notice, I'm taking small sips on my, you know, supplements, which obviously have water in them. Uh, don't overdo it on the water. Start cramping up. All right, let our raises. Pinkies up. Yes. All right, Arnold. Let's get it. Eight. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Come on. One. Flies, red dead flies. Guys aren't burning out. 
lying. You're lying to yourself. You go a little harder. Maybe slow up your reps. Maybe squeeze your muscles a little bit more. Get a better contraction. But you should be feeling it for sure, 100%. I'm feeling it over here. This isn't my first time doing this workout. before I bring it to you guys. So maybe a day or two before I like to run through the workout, make sure the exercises flow in a nice even pattern to where we're targeting at specific muscle groups. You know, sometimes antagonistically, but most of the time just making sure the exercises flow in a nice pattern. Right? It's very important when you're structuring your workout. <sighs> making sure everything flows. You don't just want to be doing things. Three. Hey, come on. Make it all count. Make it all count. All right. Shoulders complete. You gotta get some water. Keep some water. Let's move the biceps. I'll wait for you. You gotta go ahead and fill up. Get you a little bit of water. Stay loose. If you are resting, just make sure you're staying loose. Loose. <laughs> make sure you're staying loose. Last thing you want is a tight muscle trying to work. You guys should be pumped right now. I'm pretty pumped. Feeling super good about this workout right here. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. Now let's move on to the biceps. We're gonna hit some preacher. We're gonna hit some regular curls. And we're also gonna some hammer curls, all right? So forearms are gonna be hit. All heads on the bicep are gonna be hit, all right? So for the preacher curl, first up, what we're gonna do is, just like if you were resting your arm on a bench, we are going to Rest our elbows right here on our thighs or our knees, wherever, but same, same type of motion as a preacher curl, all right? Grab. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze, stretch at the bottom, squeeze at the top. Seven. Let's call that seven again, just in case. Eight, nine, ten. If you know me, you know I don't like to do anything less than what I need to. I might do an extra rep, extra two reps, but I hate doing under. So if you lose track, recount the last rep and get to it. All right, now we're doing some regular curls. All right, regular curls. Make sure you lock in that elbow in the side. All right, keeping our wrists like this, we're not gonna turn our wrists on the way down or on the way up, all right? If you wanna keep it all locked in, up. Four. Again, squeeze it. Eight. Nine. Ten. We're getting this work, man. We're getting this work. I don't know about you guys, but we getting this work. Make sure you lock it in. Lock in that elbow on the side. And then that swing. I don't want to see it. Lock it in. Look at that. No moving. Lock it in. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Come on. Ten. Yes, yes. All right, hammer curls. Oh, we're ripping through it, guys. We're ripping through it. Hammer curls. I spoke about it earlier. We're taking that neutral grip. See, I'm holding this dumbbell. Taking it like that. All right. And locking in on the elbow as well. This is going to be locked in as well. And we're going straight up. All right. You're going to feel all that tension in your forearm. And then when you bring it up, that bicep is flexed. So. 
Terus Terus Feeling that one. All right, so notice how you, you might see a lot of individuals, I'm not saying names of anybody, but just people in general. They might bring it up here and call it quits. We take it all the way up, so again, we can hit, make sure that bicep is getting that. Look at how it works, the bicep is getting. Forearm, still getting work. This is where your forearms really engage the most. Lock it in for that bicep. Lock it in. Three. Eight, nine, ten. Yes. All right, y'all get y'all some water. Let me make sure this camera is on. It is. It is. The camera is on. The camera is on. We're at about 35, 35 minutes ish. Not bad. All right. Like I said, it might, it might take us 40 to 45 minutes, but these previous workouts that we've been doing have been 14 minutes. Moving on to week two, 20 minutes, 25 minutes for the uh, previous workouts that you did before this one. Look, y'all, it's time to take it up a notch, all right? We're kicking it up a notch. The challenge is almost over, and we really are bringing our best, bringing our best physiques. By now, you should be shirts off, killing it every single workout, all right? Flex your muscle. Don't care what nobody says, all right? Flex your muscle. Be proud of your own results. All right, preacher. Flex that, flex it, come on. Squeeze, really squeeze it. Forcing nothing but blood. Blood. How else you gonna get biceps if you don't force that blood in there? Force the force, force the blood. Let's go. Six. Come on. Come on, squeeze it, squeeze it. I don't want no quitters out there, no quitters. Not on my watch. Come on, regular bicep curls, let's get them. Lock them into the side, up. Eight, nine, come on. Ten, squeeze, hold it. Oh man, biceps gonna be tore up tomorrow. The doms gonna get y'all out there. I know that. Gotta be careful, all right? Be <laughs> just some blue to me. But yeah, these some BCAs, man. Help with that recovery as well. As y'all notice, I never really complain too much about soreness. I just don't experience it. Come on, come on. Ah, hold it. Hold it. And I don't experience a lot of soreness either because glutamine, BCAAs, they all help with that recovery. All right? Sometimes you give you a protein shake to help with that as well. You feel a good protein powder that has the right ingredients in it to keep you pushing every single day. That's what supplements are for. So don't go out there spending all your hard earned money on junk. All right? I have a video for that. Right. I'll just search my channel. David Thompson Fitness Supplements. It should come up. Top five supplements. Top five. Get on. All right, hammer curls. Marking in. Eight, come on. 
T-shirt. Let me get you right here. So I'm just bringing it up like that. This is the stretch right here at the bottom. That's the 
flex. Show y'all from the front just in case you missed that. This is the stretch right here at the bottom. That's the stretch. Stretching in the tricep. And you're gonna pull it up. Flex. Contraction right there. That's what you want. Four. Come on. Alright, that's ten. I'm gonna move those kickbacks. You know what I say about the kickback? We're not gonna, we're not gonna be all the way down here with it, all right? Not down there. We're gonna be up a little bit. Arm even up a little bit. We're gonna have an arm all the way to the side of that new crate right here, all right? I want you to just look at your shoulder and then you can move this a little bit. You don't have to go so high, especially when your dumbbells are a little bit heavy. Boom, right there. And you wanna make sure you flex it. Flex right here. Stretch, flex. Diamond right here. When I say diamond, I mean have your hands like this. Alright? The diamond. Get y'all some water. We got two more. We good. We doing good. Just hit about 45 minutes almost. Or just a little bit after 45 minutes or about 46 minutes. Feeling good. Get to it. Yeah, I'll stay down here. heavier you don't need to bring it all the way up like that you need to get a nice little angle a comfortable angle that's all it's about seven eight nine ten and only you truly know what a comfortable angle is for yourself all right diamonds One more. We have been pushing through. Let's check this camera. The camera is even on our side today. Woo! It's a good day. Hope y'all making some gains out there. Make you some gains. Eat. Let's eat. All right, come on. Over here, let's get it. Skip that water break, man. Let's get right to it.
seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, almost done. Fight, fight, fight for it. Whatever your dreams are, fight for it. Whatever your goal is, fight for it. Come on, three, four, five. Don't be a quitter. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't be a quitter. We're 50 minutes in. Don't be a quitter. Come on. Come on. We're almost going to hit an hour. We're working out for an hour. 60 minutes. Come on. Eight. Nine. Ten. You can hold that. You can hold that. Come on. Uh. Eight, nine, ten. You can hold with that. Come on. Diamonds drop right back down. Let's go. One, two. Uh. Six, come on. Four more, come on. Nine. Nine. Come on, one last one, last one. Fight for it. There it is. I heard y'all out there fighting. I heard y'all out there fighting. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Finish it up, guys. Y'all did great. This is a real good workout. I didn't expect it to be this long, but I'm glad it was. I was able to talk you guys through a lot of these workouts, a lot of these exercises. We got through it all in no time, all right? 50 minutes. Sometimes we need longer workouts. We need longer reps. We need long, we need that volume. We want that hypertrophy. These workouts that I have been giving you guys have been all about the volume, all right? So you can say after these four weeks that you have pushed your body to the limit. All right, we're not just talking about strength, but we're really just talking about building some quality muscle, really torching those muscles, building quality muscle by torching the muscles. All right, so that's it for this workout. Hope y'all enjoyed it, hope you got it in, hope you didn't quit. If you did quit, jump right back into where you left off at and give it your all, all right? And with that being said, before you go, I want to encourage you to do a few things. Download the free X Factor Fitness app where you will have access to tons of workouts, exercises, and more. Follow me on Instagram where you have access to workouts and motivation daily. Also, check out some of my old videos. Lots of playlists just for you. And never forget, subscribe for more.